All right, we're going first. Decent hand, of course. We got a two drop and a really good three play. So hopefully it plays out like that. Opponent's playing white green, so we might be able to get away. Mm, okay, so this might be a one of those instant sorcery pump up everybody type thing. So let's uh be a little aggressive. See what see what they decide to do. Of course he's not gonna block. I mean, obviously. We'll see if that <laughs> we'll see if that was a wise decision. Okay. Clever. Luma Manancer. Snake skin bear. I, I'm not sure if they're gonna have anything that targets my creatures. It might just be all pump spells for their creatures. So let's. I mean, we got three of these. Might as well. Might as well. Let's go ahead and activate. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. We we might have to show our opponent we are willing to be as aggressive snake skin is he gonna block and that's a block damn okay i mean he did put into a lot maybe hopefully hopefully he used the ball his juice for that no blocks mm. damn i'm about to take a lot bro oh my gosh Damn. Okay. Um. Let's. Damn. If I had me an extra lamb, bro, I could have played Ravager and Ranger class, but no attacks. We have Snake Skinville. Maybe. Hopefully, our opponent has no other plays. And he swings in, so we are blocking here and here. All right, snake skin. Let's see what he got. Mm. Damn, man. Our opponent just had an amazing hand. Uh, I mean, at least we got a. Oh, my God. I'm getting all these ranger classes and no lands. All right. Well, I mean, at least they produce a creature. That's the only benefit. Swing in. That's the, that's the only thing we can do. We got a couple of chump blockers here, but other than that, bro. We'll block here. We'll take four. We'll take four. Go down to one. I can still win with just one. Come on. Oh, no, not a land. Are you kidding me? Oh, not a land. Jeez. All right, no attacks. What kind of doo-doo butter baking grease is this? Wow. If I could at least gotten a land. We... Now, nah, 12... Now, nah, if he doubles that... Bro, 24, 24. That's just too much. 22, 22. That's just too much, bro. We get a land next turn, but it might be a little, a little too late. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, shoot. We can activate this. All right, let's pass turn. So of course, if he has the trample, okay. <clears throat> All right, no attacks. Let's get rid of, while we still can, let's get rid of you. So now they really just got a 22-22, 20, a which is ridiculous. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, he, oh yeah, he, he got something good now. He got something special. 
Um, yeah. I I don't even know if it matters. If he has trample, it's pretty much over. Ah, shoot. And there it is. Wow, that's... That's the first... We are going to agree, okay? We're going to agree that none of this didn't happen. I didn't go down to negative 22. That this this is just a warm-up game, okay? Everybody needs a warm-up game. It's not an excuse. It's the truth. So we're going to go to the next one. Forget about this. <laughs> and, and, and let's have fun. Let's go. All right, opponent's going first. We got us a decent ham. We got Soul Shatter to three drop. So if we need to, that that'll pretty much work. Really don't like all the snarls, but I mean, damn. it's better than two lands, I guess. All right, we got a basic land, so we're good now. This is mono green. Ooh, mono green elves. Okay. All right. We might we might have us a situation here. Let's go ahead and get a 2-2 two -two on the field. Come on, Ramkala. Ramkala. Show me what you're working with. Mm. Ooh, that's a bunch of mana. All right. Show that off. <clears throat> what do we want to do? Yeah, let's go. With, let's go with this. No attacks. Because one thing elves can do is go wide as hell. So I might kind of want to just. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so definitely with Realm Walker, they're going to be shooting out the elves. So we need to at least. Try to keep him. That's a lot of land, bro. <clears throat> he has one, two, three, three lands. So yeah. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Let's. Mm mm mm. Let's go ahead and activate this. Let's swing here. All right. This is about to. I, I mean, may, hopefully he has just. I mean, hopefully it's a land. Or, oh my god. Oh damn. Oh, that's not good. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not the worst. It's not a whole bunch of four fours, a whole bunch of five fives. He's not going to end the game right now. Okay, what five? I, I I can take five. Okay, come on, just just swing in. I know that's what you want to do. It is okay, and he doesn't. Why? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, now now you playing scared. Um Let's go ahead, play Nissa. Drop a land, boost up, and we're going to minus five. Let's go ahead, play a Shia. No attacks now. No attacks. Can't can't do that right now. All right, land. Hopefully, he has a land on top of his library. Then we'll be good. We'll be real good after that, you know. And we do have a uh, realm eater, so we're gonna have to get him some uh, plus one counters. I uh, might have to play this on our opponent's turn. Yeah. Damn. 
Damn. I could have swung in with a Shia, but he'll just chump block and yeah. All right. Watch him just get like five elves in a row in his library. And he just starts shooting them out. That's what I'm afraid of. What you doing, huh? You ain't gonna attack. Oh, shoot. I see what he's doing. Ah. Got you. So he has the Hydra land. And he's... I'm assuming counting up how much land he has. So he can make a pretty decent sized creature. Yeah, doesn't have trample though. That's the only caveat. So if it had trample, it'd be like game over right now. But it doesn't. So we'll just chump block with a 2-2 two -two and, and everything is still good. That's the downfall to mono green. If you don't have trample, bro, and you trying to get the biggest creature out there, it doesn't matter at that point. You know, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right, come on. Bring it. All right, we'll just chum block. Simple. Simple. You you did all that mathematical, technical stuff, and you just got chum blocked by 2-2. Two -two. Easy. Now we're going to get rid of <clears throat> the one that's boosting up everybody. We we, 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 we got to get rid of that. That's that's inappropriate, okay? This is a family channel, and you can't be playing stuff like that. That's very inappropriate. All right, let's put a plus one counter here. <clears throat> That's a three. That's a three drop. Um, those three, those three drops is kind of a headache. So we're gonna wait. Hey, 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 hey! Don't don't be telling me to her. Don't be telling me. Okay, we're gonna swing in. Put a plus one here. So he has to block. He has to chum block with the creature. He, uh, we kill a creature. And <clears throat> I probably should have just swung with a Shia. Nah, but he would have. He probably wouldn't block. So all right. So now we got uh, Saraf with three counters. We just got to survive one more turn. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and play this. Just as a blocker. <clears throat> okay. I get it. Great card. Say not really, but <laughs> not really, but you know, it's is it's good for the build that he's playing. I get it. What you gonna do? You're gonna bring out the Hydra. You bring out the Hydra. <clears throat> All right, so to make this a one-sided board wipe, we cannot lose our Shia or Saruf, obviously. So however big he makes this Hydra, we just gonna have to take it. And I needed to at least attack with either a Shia <clears throat> yeah dang because if i would have just swung it with the shia and he didn't block i'd be one mana too short or one uh counter so we'll take it we'll take it down to three we we we, we can do it with three baby <laughs> three ain't nothing three ain't nothing but a number you feel me so come on it's 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 bound to happen. Bye bye. That's that's how that works right there. That's how that works. We're gonna swing in. We ain't worried about your plane walk. We we ain't worried about your planes walk. I I I I I I I said we ain't worried about your damn planes walk. Because we got a continuous one sided boar wipe.
I, I got to do it. I know that seems so unfair. I know it's borderline broke, but I got to do it. You know what I'm saying? This. Um. Oh, man. Damn, we can't. We can't. This. We're just going to have to make it work. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We, we do have a nice. Okay, now, okay, we got a two drop. I'm about to say, we have a nice curve. We got a lot of two drop creatures. I don't understand why we're getting so many crappy first hands here. Even second hands. This is it's very, very not, not fair. It's, I don't know how 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 that, that how that works, but we got us a two drop. We got Skyclave. Shade. Our opponent's on some Rakdos. All right. Um. Yeah. Or I guess I. Uh, I don't know. I probably should have kept Nissa dropped. Um, Ravager, and I could have brought it back, but I don't know. It's 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 cool. I need a creature on the battlefield now. All right. Is this a treasures joint? A treasures. Oh, dick. Well, okay. You could have just asked me, like, hey, can you put your cards in your hand into the graveyard? I would have done it. You didn't have to, like, pay three to do all that. That was, that was uncalled for. Okay. I, I honestly haven't really seen this playing Walker play. Okay. I don't think it's that good, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get our creature back. That's a good thing about uh, these these type creatures that just keep coming back from the graveyard. Like you, you gotta you gotta exile these suckers. I get it. Actually, he should have let me in an attack. He chump block and then he'll. Use that one damage to kill my sky clay, but I mean, you know, to each his own. So, but you know, it's whatever. All right, let's go ahead, and swing. Yeah, let's let's get this out the way. I mean, like I said, it's, I don't think it's one of those type of planeswalkers where it will just dominate the game, but it is a roadblock. Is he gonna. What? Does it. Okay. Why? Why? Why would he not. Okay. None of my business. Okay. I don't know what it's in his hand. None of my. He might just wipe the whole board right now. He might have that. That's probably why. Okay, pay for exile. That's a, that's a good call. Let's get rid of that now. That's that's a lot easier than. <laughs> yeah, let's just get rid of it. See, he should have used that two damage. To, oh my god, bro, man! I gotta school these people, man. Come on. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, not bad. We still in it. Might as well activate this now. Come on, give me one land and we could be in a better position right now. Fortunately, that's not a land. <laughs> and I don't get a land next turn. Five, six, seven. Oh, he could play. Uh, Tibolt oh, or Valky, that's his name. Alright, let's Let's get this guy out the way. Let's get you out the way. Come on, deal one damage to the face. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four damage. Alright, we're we're sitting pretty do pretty pretty cool. I wish. We could have had our five lands turns ago, but 
What is he doing? What is he? Ooh, in the exiles. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a token, no matter what. But still, damn. Oh, let's go ahead and play this. All right, we're going to play this. There you go. Deal with that. Deal with that. Okay. That's a great, great play right there. Feels more like a Rakdos control. Ooh. Another board wipe got you. I'm cool. That's 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 cool. That's that's nothing to me. Okay, nothing. Now I hope you got a big enough board wipe for this one here. Oh, you ain't got nothing. Yeah, let's go ahead. Drop this. Let's swing in. Let's go ahead and play this. I probably should have played this first. That extra damage. Yeah. Either way, I think we're good. Uh, that's a little scary. 14, draw two cards. You got three lands. It might be a good game, baby. I don't know what you can do with three lands. Yeah. Bro, just boom. He, he, he was trying to get me. I was, I was and then, bow, bow, bow. Bro, this is like Tyson in the ring, bro. One, once I get my swing in, man, bro, you just going to keep getting it. Bow, bow. All right, opponent's going first. I like this hand. I like it. We finally got some two drops. Removal. I like it. Hopefully our opponent. <laughs> I mean, I, I want a good game. I want our opponent to have a good hand, a good deck to play with. But I want to win. You know, so I wish my opponent good luck. You know. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, this is mono black. You got a splash or something. I twitch, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and show this off. Let's get Skyclave. Let's get the Skyclave. Mosh Pit, I think, is better towards the late game once I start getting plus one counters a little bit more continuously. Um, so then when he dies, I can just put him back on top of my library, cast him for five, you know, things like that. But eh. our opponent looks like he's playing mono black, so he probably has a lot of removal. I'll take one. I'll, I'll take one. I'm not worried about your one right now. Let's let's swing in. See what he does. Does he block? I'm pretty sure. Twi Twitch is is made to be a chump blocker, so yeah, he'll he'll block. He don't need him like that. Mhm. Mm All right, let's. Let's go ahead and play this here. Let's go ahead and play this here. <clears throat> okay. He doesn't swing in. Okay. I for sure thought he was going to swing in. We are going to... Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Does he fall for it? It's the oldest trick in the book.
Okay. Kill my creature. Got you. Let's see. Um. Let's get Skyclave back. Bada boom. All right, in turn. I really need to get rid of their merchant. I was hoping he would block with merchant and then I could uh flunk. But he 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 didn't fall for it. He didn't fall for it. I I applaud him for that. Alright, now we can do it. Now we can get rid of merchant. He just he had the four cards in hand and I was just that one card too short. So never good. Never good. Ooh. And we got uh, Rum Eater. Let's go ahead and drop this. Ooh, we'll put you back on top. You, you, you see what I'm saying? That worked beautifully. So now we know we have another valuable creature next turn. But let's see what our opponent does here. If he doesn't deal with Ravager. All right, cool. That's why I, I didn't want to put a Shia down because a Shia is it. That's a game game winning car right there. So I didn't want to just throw that out there for no reason. All right, let's uh, swing it. Thank you. All right, let's swing in for three. <clears throat> Six, seven, seven lands open. Ooh, exile. <laughs> Bro, hey, good job. Good job, buddy. This is a great card right here. Now, if you didn't destroy our uh, mosh pit, homie, we could just keep, at this point, bringing them back as long as we have a creature to attack with. Because now we're going to get plus one counters here. But he, he eggs out most of our good stuff. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a little too late now. All right, down to 13. Um, I'll hold this land. I, I just like the illusion of having answers, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I don't know. I, I play I play poker, so I always like to feel like I might have the upper hand. He has faces havens. Okay, there it is. I just noticed that too, unfortunately. <laughs> it's like, hey, there's a face of saving over there. Does he swing? He does. We'll take it. We'll take it. Another one. Interesting. We'll go ahead and play it. Let's go ahead. Level two. And swing it. Put plus one here. Plus one here. So he can't just do that easy little cheap shot. You know what I'm saying? So you got to actually do something here. Swinging at eight. Good block. Good block. Dang, draw two cards and create a treasure token. That's a good card. I really like that card. All right, in turn. <clears throat> Come on, babe. We're so close to ending this here. Our opponent is pulling so many tricks up their sleeve right now. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Oh, he's, he's digging through the graveyard. 
What are you looking for? Ooh, blood in the snow. Oh. I mean, it's a whack card to bring. I mean, I guess you get a treasure out of it, but you know. It's not really difficult to deal with. All right, we got Flunk. All right, let's play a Shia. Now it's time to play a shot. He done did his boar wipes, his spot removals. Hopefully, he doesn't have any to pull. Come on, buddy. If you if 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 if, if you gonna do it, just do it. You ain't gotta think about it. Just do it. All right. Let's activate level three, so we can kind of. Kind of start preparing for some things here. Uh, let's. Come, come on, man. He is so petrified right now. He is analyzing every single possibility. He's like Dr. Strange, like. You know, when he's like just going like this, like that's that's where he's looking at every single possibility on every single step here. All right, we're going to swing in. We're going to swing in. Come on. Come on. It's, it's, it's just the same same. Yeah, there, there you go. Man, I'm gonna have to start charging this dude by the minute. I hope he wins. Like for all of this, I hope he is just going to to win here. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, that was such the anticipation of that was like up to here, you know, like, damn, man, come on. Oh, shoot. All right, fume, 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 fumes. I was going to say fumigate. That's, that's his story. That's a whole different. Come on, play. Oh, okay. Now we're going to. Well, damn. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, either if I would have played Flunk at the end of my turn or. Either way. Let's go ahead. Get rid of you. I still feel like we have the upper hand though. Oh, and we got a Shia again. Oh yeah. Oh my God, three, three <laughs> sorrows. No, I don't want three sorrows. No, I don't want three sorrows. Ooh, okay. So he has his what he can bring out what two or no one he can bring out one let's play sorrow of of course we attack we get two so that's 10 so he has the black yep it's about to go down. 
He's reading it. He's he's YouTubing it. Trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. All right. Let's swing in. So he has to block. There's no there's no just taking 11. You got to block. Yeah, bring him out, bring him out, bring him out. Now get him out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So he swings it for five. Or do we chump black? Ooh, that's actually very interesting. Very interesting. I definitely wasn't expecting that. He doesn't have his faces haven to attack, which is which is good. Does he swing in though? That's the thing. He doesn't. Let's take action. Hmm. The tokens will go. Uh, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I, I think that was a solid, solid play right there. Let's uh <laughs> He's he's like I don't I don't remember this card is standard. What is going on here? <laughs> what what is this? I don't I don't get it. Is this a legal card? All right, taking five. My power is for yep. annihilation. Oh man. It's not looking too good for you, buddy. Come on, confessor. Professor Confessor. Oh, he's drawing a card. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands. So the sky's the limit. Well, the mana's the limit. And he can pretty much do what he wants. All right. A long game. But we won. We stuck in it. Normally, I would quit games like that because I ain't got the time or the patience to just sit there and just kind of just, you know. But... It was a fun game. Our opponent was really trying, but we 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 won because just the the battle plan is just so pimp tight. You feel me? But let's go to the last one and let's see if we can end this video with a dub. Let's go. All right, we're going first. Decent hand. We'll definitely keep this. We could have got us a nice four drop, five drop. That would be even better. But you know, this this would this would just have to do. Come on, do we got another player that is just gonna take forever? Please no. Oh sweet baby Jesus, six pounds eight ounces, with a perfect fro, baby Jesus. White green. Mm. I wonder what. I wonder what he could be playing. It's like I'm joking. It could be anything, guys. Damn, people are not that predictive. Okay, Shinchino. Let's. Uh, let's go ahead. Level two. It's so crazy that it only costs two to level two that. You think they would have made that at least cost three. But you know, I just is you know, just just my opinion. So it's definitely one of those life game decks. Definitely, like obviously. Alright. 
Yeah, let's go ahead with this here. We're gonna swing in. Now, please black so Saurav can get a plus one counter. And we're all happy. Okay. He does it. So he's definitely trying to ramp into something. Field trip. Woo! Gaining that life, boy. He's uh, he's on the road. He's gonna have like 15 lands by the end of the next turn, bro. Alright. Ooh. Containment breach. So he's trying to get rid of my stuff here. Okay, I, I see what you're trying to do. Um all right, so we need to make this count then, huh? Let's let's go ahead. Let's swing in. Let's see if he blocks first. We might be able to keep one of our removals. I was just gonna take him out and just swing in, but you know, if I can hold on to some removal, that'd be better. Plus one counter. Let's get. Yeah, let's get Grapple. I don't. I don't know if he's gonna be playing a creature right now because he's gonna pay three. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Okay. Um, we're gonna play this, bro. You think you? Oh, he think he's slick, huh? Let's go ahead. Untap here. Take action. We're, we're not gonna kill our Nissa. Because if our opponent's trying to do some sneaky stuff like that, we just we just gonna keep playing our lands to attack for us, bro. We got this covered. What? Who is that? Is 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 that supposed to scare me? Bro. Bro, I got everything covered here, bro. That's how we play it over here, bro. We got every single angle covered you know what i'm saying this is not just a game bro this is chess three dimensional chess broke it down to its 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 basic form like a fraction bro we just breaking it down bro so our opponent wasn't ready for that he wasn't ready he doesn't know who the black hammer is he thought he he thought he was asleep that's all it was it is okay. Everybody calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let's go to the conclusion. And let's have a conversation about this bill. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're here at the conclusion. And this is my green, black, soul eater bill. Now, as you see with the card right here, that's the extra big card. This is the main card of this whole entire build. And I promise you, people be sleeping on these kind of cards. Even before uh, the 2022 format, this card was a sleeper. It is still going to dominate if it's put into the correct build. So let me teach you something. Let me learn you something right now. This is Sorrow Realm Eater. It's a three drop legendary creature. 3-3, three, three. so we got four copies because this card right here is very important to the entire plan of this build. So if your opponent kills it, you definitely want to try to, you know, I mean, draw into another one. So four copies is definitely important. Um, it says, whenever an opponent, whenever a permanent, an opponent controls is put into the graveyard. So it's more than just creatures, uh, enchantments, uh, any permanent. Um, is put into the graveyard. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Sarov Realm Eater. So that's already going to generate this to be a threat on the battlefield. And it says at the beginning of your upkeep, if Sarov has one or more plus one counters on it, you may remove all of them. If you do exile each other permanent, non-land permanent, with mana value less than or equal to the number of counters removed this way. Now we'll make this even better is if you can uh decide how many counters to remove that would be way doing you know doing way too much but essentially if you don't have anything which i will show you in a second uh to protect yourself this will board wipe everything your stuff your opponent's stuff everything non-land stuff obviously 
So to pair this up perfectly, if if you need to wipe everything out, but if you can save your own creatures, then you play a Shia Soul of the Wild. It's a five drop legendary creature. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, its power and toughness are equal to each uh, equal are each equal to the number of lands you control. I am reading way too fast here. Non land. Now this is the important part. Non token creatures you control are forest lands in addition to their other types. So that means all your creatures, including a sort of uh mosh pit every creature is going to be a land and what we read here what's the important part uh if you do exile each other non-land permanents non-land permanents that means your creatures are considered lands so therefore all your opponent's creatures and non-land stuff will be exiled not destroyed exiled that is beautiful right there so let's look at the rest of the build to kind of see what's going to assist us in getting those dubs so of course if you're playing anything with plus one counters and green you need uh, snake skin veil we all seen this card we all love it put a plus one counter and it gains hex proof to end a turn so one drop instant speed then we got four copies of flunt because this is probably going to be the best instant removal speed unless your opponent has a bunch of cards in hand then you're kind of screwed but that's kind of rare so this should be able to do some work for you then we got three copies of sky clay shade once again i really like this card because it can come into the battlefield with a plus one counter if you do decide to kick it for an extra three but it can't block but it does have decent stats three one so your opponent eventually is gonna have to block this when a land enters uh, when a, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if Skyclave Shade is in your graveyard and it is your turn, you may cast it from your graveyard this turn. So it's a reoccurring threat unless your opponent is exiling things. So this is really good against any deck, really, but really annoying for control players. Then we got four copies of one of my favorite cards, honestly, Ranger Class the first level get a 2-2 wolf creature token pay two for level two whenever you attack put a plus one counter on a uh, target attacking creature so this will help sort of get those plus one counters so you can kind of you know get in you know if you need four or five plus one counters you can easily get that a lot quicker uh then it's uh level three which is pretty decent you pay for you may look at the top card of your library anytime you may cast creature spells from the top of your library so this is good for the late game when you know you have no creatures on the battlefield and you just need to start throwing them out there so good card then we got three copies of mosh pit skeleton once again this is another sleeper here it's a two drop two two and you can kick it for five if it was kicked it enters the battlefield with three plus one counters on it so once again it's a reoccurring threat whenever one or more plus one counters are put on a creature you control if this creature is in your graveyard you may put mosh pit skeleton on top of your library it's not into your hand so it does kind of slow down your your draw in a sense because you're drawing this card instead of something new obviously but you if you can kick it that'd be beautiful once again with ranger class and a lot of things getting plus one counters on their own you should always have a decent threat on a battlefield then we got three copies of show uh soul shatter um it is expensive there's probably other things but like i said i really pay attention to my my curve here and just with removal i didn't want to clutter up the two spot um I guess I could play uh, Blood Chief Thirst, but that is sorcery speed, and I kind of wanted to keep this as quick and aggressive as possible. So I can play Soul Shatter on my opponent's turn. Um, and it says, each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker with the highest mana value amongst creature and planeswalkers they control. So it's, it's good instant speed removal, so I like this card. Then we got three copies of Grok Maw Skyclave Ravager. It's a three drop, zero, zero, legendary Hydra Horror. Not horror, horror, 
or horror. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, it enters the battlefield with three plus one counters on it. So once again, this helps Mosh Pit. Where are we at? Uh, whenever another creature you control dies, if it had a plus one counter on it, put a plus one counter on this creature. When it dies, create a XX black and green Hydra creature token where X is the number of plus one counters on Grokma. So this works beautifully, if that's a word, beautifully with Ranger class because if you can get a 6-6 six, six, uh, Ravager and it dies, or when it dies because they're going to kill it, you get a 6-6 six, six token. Beautiful. Then we got three copies of Nissa. Once again, there's probably other better four drops, but I just seen this card. I don't really see it played a lot. So I took the initiative to make it fit in this build. So this is our only four drop because, you know, I kind of want to watch the curve on this build. So it's really good. Um, it's plus one ability is decent. You, uh, you untap target land you control you may have it become a 3-3 elemental creature with haste and menace until in a turn it is still a land so this is good if your opponent is playing a lot of board wipes a lot of uh sorcery speed removals you can go ahead punch in for three and get your land back into safety um it does have landfall whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control put a loyalty counter on this so you can plus one and play land so Drawing lands essentially isn't the worst thing. If you do have Nissa, you can minus five. You may put a creature. Now this this is important. Listen, you gotta listen. Minus five. You may put a creature card with mana value less than or equal to the number of lands you control in a late game. That's that's crazy. You control onto the battlefield from your hand or graveyard with two plus one counters on it. Bro, you guys are slipping on, sleeping, slipping, slapping on Nessa. Then of course we got a shy, and then we got one copy of Vorinclex. Um, it's one of those cards where, I mean, honestly, I just had one more card to add in here. So I was just like, why not? It's one of the cards, if you do get it in your first seven cards that you pull, it's not the end of the world. You're not going to pull another one because you only got one copy. But if you get this in a late game, it still does work because you're messing with a lot of plus one counters and your opponent plus one counters is a popular thing, especially green, white. So it helps if you never see it. It's not going to mess up your entire plan. But if you do pull it at any point in the game, it is OK. Once again, we are running 25 lands. Nah, I think that's enough because I tried to keep the curve as short as possible. So 25 lands might be good. But once again, this is more than just me playing magic on the entire net. This is made to have a conversation about builds like this. So if you, if you have anything to make this better, let me know in the comments. Let's have that conversation once again. It's your boy Black Hammer, and I will see you guys in the next video you're watching right now.